Hello and welcome to a video about the wrist action, very important element of your cue action. Many beginners in the game think that they should not use the wrist. They lock it and they just are not using the wrist, which in my opinion is wrong. The short answer, should I use the wrist? is yes, you should use the wrist. There is a backwards and forwards movement of the wrist, which will help you to shorten the move on your arm when you're pulling back the cue. It will keep your elbow high, which will make your cue action even better. And you will get a lot of power from the wrist into your shot. If you're an experienced player, and if you played years without using the wrist, it will be difficult for you to transform this, to apply this in your cue action, um, but probably it's worth it. I'll show you two shots. The first will be without using any movement in the wrist. The second will be with moving the wrist backwards and forwards. So the first shot is I keep my wrist pretty tight, when I pull back, I don't use the wrist. Now notice where is my elbow, it dropped down. See it again, I'm not moving the wrist, my elbow dropped down. Now I'll be using my wrist backwards movement when I pull the cue back. Look where, where is the elbow. I pull back and now I use my wrist. The elbow stays high. It doesn't move. So that means less movement in your arm, especially in the shoulder. Because when you don't move the wrist, you need movement in your shoulder when you're making the backswing. When you use the wrist, the shoulder stays pretty still. Less movement means less chance of making the mistake. Then, when you follow through, when you strike the white, if I didn't use the wrist, I will need to apply much more power from the hand to be able to reach certain speed at the shot. And now look carefully how much movement in the hand when I don't use the wrist. So the elbow dropped and then it went up at the moment of striking the ball. Now I'll be using the wrist. It will apply a lot of power from that backwards and forwards movement and it will cut out the movement in your shoulder, in your backswing and in your follow through. Now I use the wrist. So my elbow stayed high. Then I applied power from the wrist, that little flick, and that gives me the feel of striking the ball effortless which is the better way to be accurate and to control the white ball. Some players use more or less of that movement. For example, Mark Cowan is using probably 70 or 80 percent wrist movement in his cue action. Ronnie he uses less wrist action. Judd Trump, Neil Robertson, they're using a lot of wrist movement to get the power into the shot. Judd Trump, he's using a lot of wrist, a lot of that wrist flick to apply the power into the shot. So, the answer to your question, should I use the wrist, is yes, you should. You can leave your comments below the video so I can see what you want to see and what's interesting for you. 
So when we're shooting our videos, we're gonna make one especially for you. Thank you for watching, see you next time.